Oh, yeah, welcome to, to Eve, Scaling Eve's Social Cliff. <laughs> this is so weird. Thank you. Uh, let's get the important stuff out of the way. Uh, my name is Manic Velocity, otherwise known on Twitch chat as CCP Pocket Pool. So thank you guys for that. <laughs> that one's going to stick around for a while. Uh, you may know me from such YouTube videos as A Clone's Mind, EVE Online Conspiracy Exposed, and a Bomber's Bar video with a bunch of cat gifs on it. Those are all in ascending order of popularity, by the way. You guys really love your cats. Cat gifts. Uh, I also host what is probably the weirdest Eve stream on Twitch, where I record and produce fake commercials for products and services in Eve Online. And I am co-host of the Neocom podcast with the illustrious Elinari Rodan. What else? I am also an introvert, and I struggle with social anxiety, if you couldn't tell. Uh, large groups of people tend to make me a little uncomfortable, and I get physically exhausted very quickly, so this has been really interesting, and, but fun and rewarding, especially last night, it was cool. Uh, so you're all probably wondering if that's true, what the hell am I doing up on stage at Eve Vegas? Um, I want to talk about how EVE Online has helped me overcome, or is helping me overcome, a lot of these aspects of my personality uh, in the helps that it might help others do the same. And uh, especially with all the new players that we're anticipating in November, and maybe even some, some veteran players who deal with some of this stuff too. So. Uh, this is Manic Velocity in-game. I'm one of those weirdos that really takes a lot of time and thought to, you know, puts a lot of time and thought into their character and who they are and what they look like. So looking at Manic Velocity's portrait, you probably get the sense that he's very confident and maybe a little intimidating. And this was Manic Velocity just over a year ago at my first E Vegas on the bus getting ready to go to the pub crawl. And if you look at this picture, in the background, everybody's talking and laughing and having a good time. But there's me down in the corner looking absolutely terrified and wondering what the hell I got myself into. But this was me 24 hours later at the Chateau party with Marcus Volpine and Mark726, having the time of my life. Uh, this experience taught me that EVE players will not let you party alone, no matter how much you may want to. So, I want to illustrate a little bit about the uh, differences between extroversion and introversion uh, in terms of EVE ships. So, I feel like ex extroversion looks like this, and introversion looks like this. <laughs> That's what I deal with. Um, again, in terms of EVE ships, I think of, as, I think of extroversion as like flying in a fleet with really great logic. Being in uh, a large group of people or, or being around other people in general tends to make you feel very energized and, and awake and active. You are socially cap-stable. Uh, extroverts make great CEOs, both in EVE and in real life, because that kind of active personality really lends itself to dealing with people. And as you might imagine, introversion is kind of the opposite. It's like flying solo and landing on an E-war fleet, which has happened to me many times. Uh, groups of people make us feel drained, is the word we often like to use. Uh, it's just what it feels like, just heavy exhaustion. Uh, we prefer more low-key social situations. Uh, some of the best times I've had are when I'm sharing a bottle of scotch and splitting a cigar with uh, just a few really close friends and family. Um, speaking of scotch, is that... Can I have some of that? <laughs> I, I, saw her, I saw her carrying this, thank you. I'll pay you back. <laughs> Introverts make great haulers or accountants, but, excuse me, both in EVE and in real life. Uh, these professions that allow us, you know, a lot of, uh, <clears throat> 
afford us a lot of personal like solitude and quiet time by ourselves. So, um, I've been playing a lot of MMOs since uh, 2005, which is not really a long time compared to most people. But uh, I've noticed that a lot of MMOs aren't built for socialization or social experiences the way Eve is. Just go through all these. Uh, we have an overabundance of what are called theme park games, and this is where content is built for the players rather than by the players. Um, they offer a much more controlled and directed on rails experience. So whatever you're doing in the game, you're generally having the experience that the developer intends you to have, and you can't really stray from that. Um, and because of this, interaction is comparatively minimal, minimal in contrast to EVE. Um, and as the average age of gamers increases, casual, solo-friendly experiences become more common because you know, we just don't have the time to, to dedicate to these games like we, we might have once we were, or when we were younger. Um, so we have over a decade's worth of so-called massively multiplayer games that really treat multiplayer as an afterthought or even optional. Um, a lot of these games even actively limit the scale of social experiences that you can have. Uh, so a lot of new players and, and younger players come into EVE and they run through their 14-day trial and they quit and they never pick up EVE again because they struggle to determine why they weren't having any fun. And I believe it's at least partially because you know, they, they have over a decade's worth of games that have trained them to believe that they don't really need to be social, which is kind of antithetical to the design of EVE. What makes EVE different? Probably preaching to the choir right here. Uh, I've said often that EVE has ruined other MMOs for me. Um, there's plenty of other games that I would like to play, but once I get into them, I, I realize that nothing I'm doing really has an impact. And, uh, you know, they, everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. Again, that casual, solo, friendly play. Um, but EVE is a game of dependency. You, you kind of have to rely on other people in order to do a lot of the things that you want to do or if you want to be successful. Um, so there's a strong emphasis on interaction and socialization. This is what we mean when we say content is built by the players. It's, it's the stories that we're creating. That's the real content of the game. And uh, player agency reigns. Um, what I mean by this is that we know that CCP takes a notoriously hands-off approach in managing what players do in the game. Um, there's a few things that we can't get away with, but for the most part, the things that we can do in EVE would get us banned in other games. Um, and because of all of this, reputations matter. It's, it's uh, you know, the, the actions, your actions in the game have an effect on everybody else, and, and you, you, you grow a, a uh, persona and a reputation. So, I like to say that uh, EVE is paradoxically the best game to play if you have trouble dealing with other people, <laughs> because it, it really does force you into this socialization. Like, if, if you want to, have access to some of the best content in the game. You have to learn to, to deal with people. I'm sick of seeing this graph. When I was making this presentation, I literally I sat at my desk for about two hours and debated if I should just include this graph, because we've all seen it so many times. But it is effective in illustrating um, <laughs> the, uh, the learning cliff, what we call it. it it's good at illustrating um, the, the complexity of Eve. So, uh, but when we, we look at this graph, we, we probably think about it in terms of, you know, the in-game mechanics, the thing you actually do with a mouse and keyboard. Um, but I feel like this is just one half of the discussion, because playing EVE is not just about how to fit your ship, or how to play the market, or faction warfare, or nullsec. It's, um... Isn't that working? Socialization is a core mechanic of EVE, but it's one that's not written in code. Uh, so it's, it's probably very difficult to write a tutorial for. Uh, CCP Ghost, wherever you are, good luck with that. Um, and EVE has close to 15 years of ongoing social dynamics with the, the rise and fall of corporations and alliances and 
friendships and rivalries that grow and dissolve over time. So I think when we talk about learning to play Eve, we have to consider the social cliff as well. And if socialization is something that doesn't come easy to you, then you're potentially locked out of some of the best content in the game. Because again, all the great, all the best content is made by the players. So how do you scale Eve's social cliff? Um, I found that over, over the years, learning how to be social in EVE, at least for me, uh, it's, it's been very similar to learning the game itself. Like, how, learning how to deal with people is very similar to learning how to play EVE. Yeah. Um, these are in no particular order of importance, but it's important to uh, experiment. Um, just like in EVE, you don't want to stick to one ship and uh, when you're dealing or, or socializing and, and dealing with people and social groups in EVE, don't just stick to the first group that accepts you. Don't just stick to one corp. If, if you have uh, personality conflicts or playstyle conflicts that don't agree with you, then leave on the best terms that you can and move on to something a little bit more amicable. But just try, try a whole bunch of, bunch of things. Try different people. Take risks. Submit a talk to give a present, presentation at E-Vegas, and they just might accept you. Uh, get pulled up on stage at the Chateau nightclub party. <laughs> when, yeah. um, do something that scares you, I think, is, is something that's important. Um, do something that makes you a little uncomfortable, because when you play Eve, uh, you know, if you, if you want to learn to swim, you have to get in the water. And, uh, it's really trial by fire. So um, once you once you get into this this game more and more, um, it's it, it's sink or swim, and it's it's really up to you whether you survive or not. Find your niche. You know what you're good at better than anybody else in the room. So if you are an artist or a writer or a singer, programmer, you have skills that are applicable in the Eve community. Um, so find what you're good at and find out how you can offer that to the community. Turns out I'm really good at being a loudmouth on Twitch. So that's what I've chosen to do. Know your audience. This one, I think, is a little bit easier for, for introverts to, to relate to because we do kind of like to, to hang back and observe people. Um, so you, you learn a lot from people just by listening to them. You, you can learn a lot by talking to them, but if you just hang back and, and listen, if you lurk a little bit, um, you, can, you can learn about who you're dealing with and kind of optimize your social trajectory with them, if that makes sense. Uh, last but not least, but it is important, be genuine. Um, be honest with people because EVE players are some of the best bullshit detectors on the planet. and. Uh, if, if they even suspect that you're being fake with them, they will either call you out on it or they'll flat out ignore you and you'll be back to square one. So be honest with other people, be honest with yourself. And it helps to be ridiculously good looking and have a silky radio <laughs> voice. So what are some outlets that you can be social? Again, probably preaching to the choir here, but for anybody who might be coming to the game, we have in-game communication, we have chat, we have mail, there's, we have the forums, the, the official e forums. There's, there's tons of ways to, to hook up and uh, chat and get to know your fellow players. Um, NPSI fleets, I think, are really awesome. For anybody who doesn't know, NPSI stands for Not Purple, Shoot It. And these are ongoing fleets that aren't really affiliated with any specific corporation or um, alliance but they just kind of welcome people into their fleet. Whoever wants to go on a room, uh, you X up and they will let you in. Um, the reason I think these are great is because they uh, expose you to a lot of different kinds of people, so you're not flying with the same people every time. Um, and you'll, you'll, just, you'll learn how to interact a whole lot better with people. External comms, Discord, Slack, IRC forums, yada, yada, yada. Social media, get on tweet fleet. Uh, watch Twitch streams. We had Rain's stream uh, presentation yesterday. Talk to talk to the hosts on their Twitch streams. They love it. 
Uh, YouTube, comment on YouTube videos. If you have a favorite Eve YouTuber, comment on their videos, ask them questions, get to know them. They, they really like that. Blogs, Facebook, I don't know anything about Facebook, so I hear there's a, there's a great Eve Online Facebook group. And attend Eve events. Woo. <laughs> Uh, or start your own. If you are looking for, um, you know, if you're looking for a local Eve event in your area, and you see that there is not one, start one. It's it's really that easy to just make a post on the Eve forums and say, hey, are there any players in Branson, Missouri? I guarantee you, there's at least one other one. And uh, go to meet up, meet up at a bar and talk about Eve. It's great. What am I doing on time? Four. Four. Is it four? Oh, cool. So, in conclusion, uh, this is not easy. <laughs> it's, it's probably easy for, for some of you, but keep in mind when you're dealing with guys like me that the talking to people and, and being social and interacting with other people is, is very difficult. But uh, we try, man, we try. Uh, it is time consuming, uh, especially once you get into the, the greater you know, the, the more abstract level of the EVE community where you're, you're um, maybe you, you host a, a large Twitch stream or you're really popular on Twitter. Um, I spend more time on TweetFleet and editing my Twitch videos than is probably healthy, uh, but it's a lot of fun, so I keep at it. Uh, but it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Um, Interacting with you guys and, and being here at EVE events, it's, it's some of the best times I've ever had and uh, couldn't ask for anything more. And as we all know, the best ship in EVE is friendship, so whatever you're flying in the game, it pales in comparison to the friendship. So, that's my talk. Thank you guys. If you're interested, here's all my shit. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, look at me on YouTube, watch me do my my weird social commentary on Twitch, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for, for coming. Uh,